Okay, let's look at dividing fractions. We we'll start off with an example: two thirds divided by four fifths. Now, you may think you do the same as multiplication and just divide the top numbers and divide the bottom numbers, but we're going to mess around with two divided by four. That's not a nice, easy answer. And three divided by five. Again, we're going to be left with a couple of decimals there, and we don't really want to do this. So we're going to use a little bit of a trick now. And the trick is this. If we divide by 4 fifths, the answer we get is exactly the same as if we multiply by 5 over 4. I wonder if you can see what I've done there. I've changed the divide sign into the multiply by sign. And I've changed 4 fifths, turned it upside down to make 5 over 4. Now the answer to this question is exactly the same as the answer to this question. This question is much easier to do. So let's work this one out. 2 multiplied by 5 is 10 and 3 multiplied by 4 is 12. There's my answer. Of course some of you may spot that I can cancel this fraction down dividing both top and num bottom number by 2 to get 5 sixths. Here's a much more complicated division question. I've got 3 and 3 fifths, a mixed number, divided by another mixed number, 1 and 2 sevenths. Before I can divide, I need to turn them into top heavy fractions, vulgar fractions. So, let's remember, 5 fifths makes 1 whole 1, 10 fifths is 2 whole ones, 15 fifths is 3 whole ones. And I've got 3 fifths already, so that gives me 18 fifths altogether. I'm going to divide by 1 and 2 sevenths. Now, 1 whole 1 is 7 sevenths, plus the 2 I've got already, so that gives me 9 sevenths. Now, because it's a division, and I'm going to find it more difficult to do, I've decided to turn it into a multiplication question. And the way I can do that is by turning the second fraction upside down. This is an easier question to work out. So, let's first look to see if we can cancel any of the numbers. 5 and 7 don't cancel, but 18 and 9 do. So, how many 9's in 9? 1. How many 9's in 18? 2. This leaves me with a fairly simple multiplication to do. 2 times 7 is 14. 5 times 1 is 5. Here's my answer to the question. However, it's a top-heavy fraction, so I need to change it back into a mixed number. Remember, 5 fifths is 1 whole 1, 10 fifths are 2 whole ones, so I've got enough to make 2 whole ones and 4 fifths left over.